Hello everybody, it's your bossy Lexi and we're back to continue chapter one of the Tribber Trigger Happy Havoc, uh, the first series in the Dungamropa game. Um, yeah, I think so. If you haven't caught up to where we are, um, we just started our school life. So we're just trying to get used to the fact that we are trapped in this school with a headmaster who has told us that in order if we want to leave, um, we have to murder someone. So we're still trying to get used to the students that we're living with. Uh, we've made at least one good friend and that is Sayaka. Uh, we spent time with her last time. Um, but yeah, I encourage you if you haven't followed, if you haven't gotten to where we are or if you're new to the game, uh, I encourage you to go back. I have everything in a, a nice little convenient playlist for you. So if there's anything you missed, you can go back to any of those videos and then you can come right back to this one and we'll be here waiting for you. Uh, so let's just go ahead and see if we can get started here. So we've got a little bit more free time and that's where we're going to kind of get launched in here. It's just a little bit more free time. Um, so we already spent some time with Sayaka. Uh, let's see who else we can spend time with. Um, maybe is is Leon around? Let's see. Um, uh, where is everybody? Oh, so Leon is in in the main hallway. Okay. There's Sayaka. Leon, there he is. Hey you bastard. So as always, there's not a whole lot of voice acting in the game, so I'm gonna try to read to you uh <laughs> each uh every line of dialogue. Uh okay, here we go. What are you doing here, Makoto? We gotta hurry up and find a way out of here. Hmm, should I hang with Leon for a while? Yeah, let's spend some Is time with Leon. Like You're not trying to get me alone so you can kill me, are you? you? My fans will go all psycho on you if you do. I'm as popular as any international superstar. But if you're not gonna murder me, then let's hang out. I don't really want to be alone anyway. I spent some time with Leon. Leon and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Leon a present? Um, hmm, um, I don't think I actually have any presents for him that he would like, so I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not even afraid anymore, now I'm just pissed hey, off. Master. Why, why is this happening to me? This isn't fair, man. I mean, am I wrong? Oh, um, yeah, it, it really isn't. Hey. Right? Totally unfair. Ultra unfair. Just like having to shave my head right before every baseball game. Well, I mean, you chose to do that, right? Ooh. Come on, man. Are you against me now, too? I didn't even want to play, but the coach and all the teachers begged me, so I did it. And then they made me shave my head just because it's tradition. How's that fair? You really hate baseball that much, huh? Aww. Damn straight I do. Who has fun running around on a dusty field for three hours? But for baseball players the field is like sacred ground isn't it but it's so not cool spending all that time at practice getting covered in sweat and dirt it's just baseball right it's easy who needs to practice I think the gods picked the wrong person to bless with that much talent yeah. still I gotta admit baseball wasn't all bad it did have a few things going for it yeah right like the feeling of camaraderie between you and your teammates Seriously? nah nothing like that I can't stand being around a bunch of sweaty guys. It's so totally uncool. Then what did you like about it? Well, I hate studying, right? But I still got into this super fancy school on a sports scholarship. As long as I kept playing, I never had to study. And besides that, it made me super popular with the ladies. Booyah! You jealous? I got to third base in more ways than one if you know what I'm saying. Oh, that's gross, Leon. Just kidding. You better be. That's gross. <laughs> I got plenty more where that came from. I'll tell you more about it next time. Anyway, let's hang out again sometime. Talking to you helps keep my mind off this place. With a smile on his face and a spring in his step, Leon strolled away. I'm not sure why, but I guess Leon likes hanging out with me. Leon's report card. You've just unlocked the skill, Robot Jock. 
Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a while. There's still a lot of time left in the day. I don't really feel like just sitting around here. Maybe I'll take a look around. Um, well, if it's still giving us some free time, let me see who else we can hang out with. Sure. Um, where's Sayaka? Who else is around? Sakura. Hifumi. Yakuya Taka, Kyoko, looks like Junko, Nina, more Leon. You know what? Why not? Let's go check out. Let's go see if we can spend some time with Jihiro. Why not? She's a bit shy. Oh, hi, Makoto. What's going on? Um, should I hang out with Chihiro for a while? Sure. You're right. Would you like to go somewhere and hang out? I mean, if you don't mind. I hung out with Chihiro for a while. Chihiro and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Chihiro a present? Mm, no, I don't have anything. I need more coins. No, no. What's wrong, Chihiro? Um, uh, it, it hurts. Huh? Did you get hurt, Chihiro? You know? Oh, well, not really. I got bit by a mosquito last night. A mosquito? Oh, I figured something serious had happened since you were saying how it hurt. Huh? Oh, did I give you the wrong impression? S sorry. You don't have to apologize. It was my own fault. But you said it hurts? Did it really bite you that hard? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? Look. She held out her arm and a huge red bump stood out clearly against her pale skin. Holy cow! What should I do? It's way past itchy now. It really hurts. But why is it so big? Did it bite you while you were sleeping or something? Oh no, I was awake. But you didn't notice. Mm -hmm. No, I noticed, but... But what? You know? Well, I felt it bite me, and I looked down at it, but I didn't do anything. I just sat there and watched it while it sucked my blood. You just watched it? Why didn't you smack it? Because huh? that would have killed it, right? Well, yeah, but... You know? It must have been really hungry to suck that much blood. If it was that hungry, it would have been really sad not to let it have anything. But it's just a mosquito. Mm -hmm. Mosquitoes are living things too, though. It might have had its own mosquito family. So, sorry, I know that's dumb. No, really, you don't have to apologize. But don't go scratching it, okay? That'll just make what? things worse. But what if it gets so itchy I can't take it? Well, in that case, just take the tip of your fingernail and push it into the bump. That'll help. Huh? Wow, I had no idea. I don't know if that's actually medically right. <laughs> don't do that, guys, when you have a mosquito bite. <laughs> You're so smart, Makoto. As she said that, she smiled like a tiny, cute little animal. I wonder if she does that on purpose. If so, that's a whole other level of scary. But anyway, don't you think it's kind of strange? What is? You know? Well, this school is completely sealed off, right? So how did a mosquito get in? Maybe there's someone here in the school where bugs can live and grow? Some kind of nature-y spot? A nature-y spot in a school? Well, I can't say for sure that there's not. Or, 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 or maybe there's a secret passage somewhere that leads out of the school. A secret passage? Well, even if there's not, I'm sure we'll get out of here somehow. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll be out of here in no time. <laughs> You're right. Working together is super what? important. Of course, I don't know how I can be useful. I'll probably just weigh you all down. That's not true. It makes me feel way better knowing you're here to help. Huh? It does? Really? Yep. So let's all do our best, okay? Thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you, Makoto. My maximum number of skill points has increased. Woo. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a while. And with that, free time is over. Hmm. 
<clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't, Don't let, let the, the bed, bed bugs, bugs bite. bite. The third day here has already come to an end. When will we... or no. When are we going to get out of here? I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling, and before I knew it, I had fallen into an uneasy sleep. Mona Kuma Theater! I need an immediate, fast-acting pick-me-up! If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving in to regret. What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course! That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a human piece of extrament can create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than the backstroke or brushstroke. drive through is better than sit-down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is speed is the gold standard of the standard world. I said I need that pick -me -up. Meanwhile, point zero, zero seconds later. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I woke up to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I find his voice cute. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Ugh, another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind, the sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Oh, well, who's at the door? Hey. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> A fantastic morning, isn't it? T Taka? Hmm. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption, without waiting for a reply, he barged into my room. What do you want, Taka? What's up, Taka? No matter how intensely the stormy seas may batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Um, I'm not sure I understand. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you, and you can support them back. That's how you can overcome any storm. I was thinking about it last night, and I decided we all really need to come together. And that was when I realized every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. And, and now is the beginning of that fateful day, so please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. That's all for now. I have to go let everyone else know the good news. Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say a thing. Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall. No, don't do anything just because Taka says so. Taka is so irritating. <laughs> He's so irritating. I guess we can say hi to Toko first. Um, Toko? What? Oh, I was just wondering what you were doing here. You should probably head into the dining hall, right? I, I know. I just need to prepare myself mentally. Prepare herself? What is she talking about? Uh, I'm so n nervous. What's she so nervous about? All right, Taka, we're here. Listen to me. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen. Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. I didn't make time for this shit. You dragged me here. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. 
So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat! You want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that before. I'm not so sh sure. I mean, seriously? Yeah, it's been a while for me too. But more important. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echoed throughout the dining hall. Seriously? Seriously? Nothing at all? Hey! Anything. It can be how to get out or who's doing this. Nobody has anything. Are you okay with this? You are going to die. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! Jesus Celeste. W what the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I am not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? You'd better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, it what? sounds like the girl wants to live here, and hell, more power to her, but shit. shit. No way in hell am I living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> sure, feel free. Uh. Okay, so nobody has any clues. One thing I can tell you is who's behind- is who behind- who is who's behind all this? Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Why else would we be trapped in here in the first place? Hey, listen. Well, sure, it could be something like that. But for right now, actual clues are... Um... Uh, huh? What's up? Um, if you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre, do you think the person responsible for all of this could be a certain murderous fiend? A murderous fiend, Chihiro? Do you have some idea who might be behind all this? Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but... Certainty is not a concern right now. I'll allow you whatever remarks you have. You know? Oh, okay. Well, have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? You mean the serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? <laughs> That monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in brutal, bizarre fashion? The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean, like, ten people would be totally insane. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if you put together something like this. But, but like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a thought. Hey, hold on. But if they're the killer, isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Yeah. It's okay. Absolutely everything positively, no 100% without a doubt, gonna be okay. Because help's gonna be here soon. I'm sure of it. Huh? Help? I mean... We've been stuck in here for a few days already, right? Nobody has been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. <laughs> oh, that's what you want to hear. <laughs> that's this? The police? You're putting your faith in the police? Oh my god, Duncan broke the smoke. <laughs> what are you doing here? You guys. you guys, seriously, do you understand what role the police exists to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them, and that shows just how badass they really are. Are you sure you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? I mean, come on, if you really, really want to get out of here, all you got to do is kill. <laughs> what the hell? Why are you laughing? You know? I'm just impressed at the total commitment to this whole act. Come on. You're still going on about that? You're fucking dead. So, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, what the hell do you want? Huh? Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Hey, come on. We know who you really are. Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. Son of a bitch. Hey, don't ignore me, asshole. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. 
Your life here has already begun and a couple days have gone by and nobody's killing anybody. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish and here you are working together. But I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. Wait, I think. Yes! Ding, ding, ding! I figured it out! All the mystery ingredients are here. Right people, right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand. But I just realized there was one very important piece missing. What are you... If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's motive. <laughs> it's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking around. Motive? What the fuck are you talking about? Um, oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. Son of a bitch. Stop changing the goddamn subject. Mm. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Oh, but don't worry. It's not some pervy adult video or anything. Oh, Jesus, Monokuma. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Good, then we can go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know, what are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know... Despair. That's all. Well, now. If you want to know more than that, you'll just have to figure it out for yourselves. Mm. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden within this school. I won't try and stop you. Because <laughs> to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. <laughs> so I guess I want amusement from you too. Um. He's gone. And once again, he left before we could find out anything useful. Right? Really? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in our way of pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However. Perhaps, but what about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so Mondo started glancing around the dining hall, but when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah. Hey, Makoto, check this out for us, would you? Huh? Why me? Yo. Because you're the closest to the door. That's the rule, right? R rule? Jesus hey, 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 hey! Stop fucking around. You see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Oh, okay. I guess I'll get going yeah. then. Awesome. Thanks. I owe you one. Hey, um... If Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this Yo. place alone. Sure thing. Then we're counting on the both of you. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. I can't decide if Mondo's totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I'd have to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person, but I can definitely... I can't... I can definitely can't say he's a good person either. So then where's this specific place Monokuma mentioned? It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but... If it's a place set up to watch DVDs, then... Okay, guys, I think this is a good place to kind of stop right here for now. Um, I think we've made it through about halfway through chapter one, um, but the next half is going to go by super fast. Um, so I'm going to do my best to kind of like split it up into easy bite side pieces. <laughs> but we're almost through. Uh, yeah, like I said, we're about halfway through chapter one, so we're almost to the end of the end of chapter one. Um, and we're gonna see which of our friends is going to leave us. Um, so, just keep watching. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the game. I've been enjoying playing it so far. It's been a good refresher for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll be posting uh, every day at around 3 p.m. Pacific time. So keep an eye out for more parts in the series. Uh, if you like this content, please like the video or subscribe, comment, any, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time.